Good morning. So, Africa was once at the center of the world. That is before Africa and the tectonic plates broke up into smaller plates. Today, Africa sits on the second largest continental plate. And as a computational seismologist, I unlock the information digitized on ever-increasing, globe-encircling seismic sensors that have been listening to our Earth shaking. Those sensors are triangles in red on the video that you're seeing. So while these sensors are definitely useful for revealing and forecasting when the fault in Botswana may shake the Earth again, like it did in an earthquake in 2017, or when the volcanoes of Odonyo Lengai in Tanzania may soon erupt. You might be wondering, why does an African study earthquakes on a continent that is least likely to have one? Well, I do not just listen to earthquakes. Part of my job description involves listening to any and every source of ground vibration. That happens when ocean waves crash on the seashore, or hurricanes shake the earth, or slow-moving gravity waves trapped in the fluid envelopes of earth, or, or when sometimes North Korea sets off worrying nuclear explosion. I listen to all these sources of ground vibration. I then use these sources of ground vibration using advances in wave theory, statistics, and high-performance computing to build images of Earth's interior. So this might be a little involving, so I'll take it slow, and I want you to just look at the images. So here in the center of the map of this um, picture is over 2,000 sensors deployed across the U.S over the past decade that I've been listening to the Earth shaking. I'll then use computational algorithms to build the image of the shallowest continental rocks of the US. We're using high-performance computing infrastructure, massive computational um, resources to build images of the shallowest rocks using uh, this sophisticated computational algorithm. The computer begins to guess the image. It learns what part of the image are well resolved and what part of the image are less resolved. By the time the algorithm is complete, you realize that the computer has already solved the solution. It is almost like Darwin's theory of evolution, survival of the fittest model, in this case, the best image. On the bottom, you see snapshots of the algorithm as you go from the beginning to the end. And by the end, you have a complete detail of the image. So um, this algorithm has built the final solution of the shallowest continental rocks by learning the complete solution. It is auto-adaptive. So who am I? I'm not just an academic doctor. I am an Earth doctor. I place a stethoscope on the surface of the Earth and build the computational brains that help reveal the anatomy of the entire planet. From the continents, from the high standing peaks of the continents like Mount Kilimanjaro to the red hot interior depths of Earth's inner core, I use seismology to make the invisible visible. So, although we might not be able to break up the Earth and reveal all that's inside of it, we can use this remote sensing technology to reveal Africa's resources. But not just that. Seismology and all the Earth sciences is not just useful for mapping resources. They can tell us and explain to us why some parts of the African continent hold spectacular mountains, like the mountains Ras Dashen 
in Ethiopia are the beautiful bodies of water like the lakes Tanganyika, Inyasa, Victoria, that are formed by the breakup of uh, uh, Africa as Tanzania, Uganda, and Rwanda prepare to break off from the rest of Africa. That's spectacular. And that might be the actual only case where a breakup leads to something that is beautiful. <laughs> so, you've heard about tectonic plates. You've heard about the research I do using uh, seismology to help reveal tectonic plates. But much of Africa's tectonic plates is still yet not well understood and not studied. And much of Africa's natural history and physical geology is studied in most, most part by non-Africans. Uh, but because our land is not just the key to the past and the future, but holds uh, an, uh, the foundation of our identity and our culture, it is important that African scientists lead the study of African land and African geology. Because the maps, <laughs> because the maps we create will form part of our heritage. It is only when we create our maps that we'll be masters of our identity. And it is in this way that the sciences help us not just understand the earth around us, but to master ourselves. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Maracuzzi. Thank you, Dr. Olubodi.